Hello? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Copy, copy. All right, all right, all right. So, are you ready? Ready whenever. Okay. Today, get. Oh, man, I already started. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Welcome, guys, to the first episode of Avengers The Break. Um, I'm here with Bruce Blingstein as my co host, and I am the host, Seven Ninja Seven. Today, we'll be talking about the Marvel Avengers beta. We'll be talking about the game in, um, in its entirety as it goes on, but today, we will be talking about the beta. So, first question, and um, I'll start off, and you, if you, uh, when you read, when I finish, you can tell your side of the things. Um, so, for me personally, the beta. Um, I want to say, I feel like I got a good understanding of how the beta is supposed to be. Or not beta, but the game is supposed to be. Because I, I feel like I understood how each character works. I feel like, you know, we didn't get um, all the other sets of skill trees, sure. But I felt like I got a good idea of, does it feel like the character? And does it feel good in my hands? Like, when I'm playing Black Widow, do I feel like the combat flow is really good? Do I feel like her multi options of combat or feels really good and so i want to say yes um i do think uh just going strictly off of how gear is um the number one thing i felt like they focused too much on was you need to have heroic cool like it's pretty much like your cooldown time like it's called heroic energy generation there's like assault support and um finisher and that finisher ultimate and i remember I felt like there was too much uh, pressure on focusing on that. So, uh, that's that's pretty much me on that. How about you? I agree to that because me, I pretty much mainlined Iron Man throughout the entirety of the beta. Mm -hmm. And I, for one, barely used my ultimates or abilities other than Unibeam just because I did a lot more damage and had more survivability as Iron Man in particular without using those abilities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I certainly get that. Like, so there was that. Um, I remember number one thing I do. Um, uh, actually, we'll get into that one a little bit later. But number one thing I felt like was a really bad problem and I, I think they may have fixed that in like the most recent beta is the motion blur. I remember that being some hot garbage, right? <laughs> like it was, you started like a, let's say, you remember that uh, city area? City mission? Uh, Man, it got bad there. And then like the boss fight, like the giant boss fight with the tank. Oh man, like you just, you start moving a little bit and and that fire and stuff just around, like you couldn't see a thing, all right. And playing as Black Widow with her, like, uh, her ultimate oh man, it gets bad and it gets bad fast. Like, I don't know how to describe her it. absurd lack of mobility if there's nothing to grapple to, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I'm Black uh, Widow, let me just jump leap everywhere because I can't grapple on the things. Man, I seen a one guy was telling like they need to give him like motorcycles, which I was surprised they didn't do anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I I think like I feel like they're gonna fix that. I feel like we really just got like a really early build. Um, that being said, I feel like that game was finished to some degree. It's just like maybe that's like the beta was like before they had added the uh, other skill trees. Of course, I don't really know. If, know of that either because they had like you remember they people were talking about how they found like other characters and stuff from the um source code and all that it seems to me like there are definitely specific characters that thrive in certain types of environments yeah like iron man he thrives in some place wide open because mm -hmm. he doesn't have to get anywhere near the target to do damage to it but black widow will shine in a closed in area Oh yes, oh yes. Um, like the things you were capable of doing 
on her specifically Mm -hmm. in a building is disgusting. (laughs) It was outrageous. Like, number one thing I do do hope they fix, at least um, for normal characters, right? There needs to be a way, just strictly, um, and we'll delve in a little more into that a little later, but there needs to be a way for you to get around. You should be able to keep up a Tolk. Um, I want to say Hulk, but that's hard to say because Hulk can outrun Iron Man in a, in a straight line. But Iron Man's just good all around. Um, but, you know, I, I think, if anything, they should be able to keep up with Hulk and Iron Man to some degree. Like, the only way to do that, and you've seen it too, is I've got a sprint jump, right? And so, like, just the idea to even think that that's the only way to keep up is kind of, it's kind of terrible. Um, the other thing being... Uh, definitely drops the immersion it does it does um and just um Hulk, fixing the grapple jumping everywhere iron man you literally just take off and fly hulk you're doing hulk things and kamala you're just kind of there <laughs> yeah honestly though with kamala i was kind of surprised like because i don't know if you've seen anything on kamala right but she's like she can st- so she remember she can stretch right and she can stretch all of her body parts so my thing was like, okay, why are you not like big size walking around, right? And I feel like she could have kept up with whole human. It's just like long steps. Like Mr. Fantastic was doing stuff like that back in the day. So, yeah. I don't know. Um, so, uh, speaking about characters, right? Who is your favorite character in the beta? Uh, in the beta, it's going to have to be Iron Man. Just like playing him felt right if you know Mm -hmm. what i mean yeah i got you i got you for me i'm in between hulk and black widow but if we're gonna talk overall i'm gonna say hulk i love black widow but bro that movement system is some hot garbage (laughs) but (laughs) hulk bro hulk feels like a rampaging monster at all times i don't care where you are you can be in a close range location you can be in a long range location monster and that's just like it's like it's not no don't get me wrong it's not um that old hulk game back on gamecube where you can like blow up cars just rip up buildings and all that it's not like that sure but like Oh, it man. gives that feel. It certainly gives that feel, and it's just like, that's why I love him. Um, like, oh, you're in the level too long, but you accidentally leveled the entire city? Right? That's too bad. Nah. <laughs> I do hope, though, um, at least for the characters in the bit, like, I'm hoping um, we're allowed to, at least for Hulk, he's able to rip a car in half. Not just pull a car out of nowhere, right? But let's say, like, um, when you don't have a car or something around, like, some kind of combustible, right? You have, you can just pick up rocks and use them as, like, knuckle dusters or something. Um, <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Um, I remember I on Hulk, though... That he could just rip a big old piece of earth out of the ground and chuck right? it at people? Man. That was great. Oh, man. Like, like here's my tiny boulder. Here's a boulder the size of a pickup truck. Which one do you want to hit to the face? Man. Bro, I learned how to... like. So, I think um, one of the things that helped me with um, Hulk is uh, ranged attack was that I'm a guy that's always been using grenade launchers. Like, I used them in um, COD. I used them in um, Destiny. I used them in well, pretty much any shooter where there's a grenade launcher. I'll probably end up using it. And so I kind of learned, like, okay, this is the same reticle for a grenade launcher. And so when I had used Hulk, I was like, oh, this is easy. But I may see someone else is playing Hulk, and, like, they'll miss, like, the rock. Like, it'll be, like, five miles off from where it was supposed to be. So that's probably, that probably helps with, um... I do know the number one thing that I did love um, about his, uh... Well, really, just his moveset, um... I don't know if you remember, but in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, one of his um, specials was he'd come out, he'd pick up the, a giant rock, or, well, actually, in the in the fighting game, right, he'd just come out the sky and grab a comet. But in this game, right, he still does that same move. It's enhanced by whatever energy you've got onto it, and he just pretty much, like, he, when he jumps in the air, he goes straight for that slam, and it, it looks completely nice, bro. It's like, I don't know, man. It's, it's hard to describe. But I love the references they did with Hulk. Like, purely off that. 
I do feel like Iron Man, though, and you can speak more on that when, whenever you're ready. Um, I do feel like Iron Man. Um, I love that they. So Iron Man, right? Like his repulsors, right? When he's in melee combat with his repulsors, um, I understood completely. Okay, now I want to hit you with a repulsor shot while I'm meleeing you, and so I can give you into like a damage stun. You can, I can also apply in a. Um, a what was what's the word I'm looking for a debuff? I can also apply a, a status debuff on you, and like maybe you use pin particles, maybe use some gamma, you know, whatever. And by doing that, right, I'm able to. Oh, when I need to, when I'm in melee combat, right, I can go for status. When I'm in uh, mid range combat, maybe I'm in a, a giant brawl, right, I can go for um, laser, like beam lasers, right. And when I'm in a uh, long range, I can go for my rockets. And it feels like strictly, it strictly feels like a mage to me, um, like how a mage should be, right? But um, man, I pretty much took up everything you could possibly have said on that. But <laughs> yeah, it, he's not really the greatest when it comes to melee combat, because mm-hmm. like just going strictly off of his melee tree, mm-hmm. all of it are revolved around you getting back into the air after doing a set number of button pushes. Yeah, like I, I certainly noticed that, like. I'm glad there's no um, overheat like um, in Anthem, honestly. But uh, oh, that that's that would annoy the hell out of me to be honest. Yes, yes it would have. But it's like he he doesn't overheat like at all. Why why would you put that into the game? So I'm glad they didn't. Yeah, like I'm certain, like they did really good on that. I feel like they they uh, Crystal Dynamics learned really well off of Anthem, at least from the flying system, because it certainly feels good. Um, I do want to move faster when I'm playing him, though. I don't know what it is, because he's, he's the fastest one, right? But I want to <laughs> move faster when I play him. It's so weird, because you look at, like, an open space, right? Like, uh, that, that one where you, um, remember when we go, went to go get those shield keys, and then we would go to the map where it's, like, all snowy? Um, when you're looking in one of those locations, right, it's like, okay, it's a big open area. And so it might just literally be, like, my mind's playing tricks on me. Like, I'm looking at a big location. But when I'm there, when I'm flying, I'm like, man, it's just taking forever. But when I look behind me, right, I'm like, Black Widow is super far in the back. Kamala Khan's trying to catch up. And Hulk's still jumping around. <laughs> like, But I, I don't know, man. Yeah, like, we touched on this in the beta. Like I said, like, when you feel the characters moving and you feel like they're just going to take off. Mm-hmm. So it might be something they have later on in the game where they have, like, an enhanced movement mode or something. Yeah, I know. Um, Black Widow with her grapple was like that. Like she had a. I don't know if you saw her skill tree. It was all in the right. Okay, okay. So you've seen it, but she had something I, I like that. I played enough of the characters to know what they're about. Okay. And I felt the need to just mainline Iron Man because I am Iron Man. <laughs> That's you all did, I can say on that one. You did your stuff with that while you were at it. <laughs> nah. Um. So, what do you wish for the story? What are you hoping for? Uh, I hope for the story they actually do pick up things from the comics themselves. Mm. Because if they do things from the comics, that game has a limitless potential. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I do remember hearing... um, I I read it in Reddit somewhere. Um, So, like, some of my knowledge will be coming from that. Um, In Reddit... There, one of the guys in Crystal Dynamic, Dynamics is saying comics are first, and so if that's true, 100% true, then we'll be seeing a lot of these like non-mainstream stories, right, brought over to the game. It, I mean, you can't go to the, the depth of it, sure, because it's a game, but at the same time, it's like there's a lot you can do, right? So, hey, man, I'll just be happy if they toss in like references. Hmm. Like, hey, like, you got the story mode, but they're going to casually reference something else. Like, I'm, 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 I'm hoping, wow, I was a lot of stuttering. Anyway, I'm hoping, <laughs> yeah, I caught myself. Um, I'm hoping, though, they'll go deep into the comics. Like, like oh, I don't have any, happen. I don't really have any particular stories, though, that I can just pull from. Because, mo- like, I'm a Spider-Man fan, fan at the end of the day. Like, Spider-Verse is the number one thing I care about. Um, that being said, the number one thing I do want to see um, is the Deadpool-verse. Like, 
I don't know if you remember too much on that, but zombie Deadpool, female De- Deadpool, evil Deadpool. Like, actually, he killed him. I do not think they're going to go into that. I don't think so either. But at the same time, like you said, it's limitless, right? And so... Yeah. It'd be like, something cool to see. What would be cool is if, like, they take the time to introduce different variations of the Avengers rosters. Yeah. Because throughout the years of comics, I think they had like 50-something plus members. Mm Mm-hmm. And that includes people from Wolverine all the way down to like Doctor Strange and Luke Cage. Oh, speaking of them, though, um, I don't know if you've seen the uh, new Fortnite trailer, but they had like the Avengers and like the Uh, X-Men in there. I yeah. don't want to talk about Yeah. Fortnite. And so, I feel like that confirms that the X-Men are usable in the Avengers game. Um, sure, no, I mean, Probably. you can't just say that, but, like, you know, just going off of that alone, that kind of tells me it's possible. So, I mean, I'd love to see um, Days of Future Past, like, a uh, story, although I'm a little, I'm going to be a little surprised, because, right, because it's like, how does that happen when the Avengers are around, right? Like, how are they going to go into that story? But I would love to see something like that. Um, I'd also like to see... Well, the thing about that, Ninja, Days of Future Past is straight up just an X-Men storyline. It has nothing to do with the Avengers. Yeah. Well, you know what? You know what? They could, if um, they decide to bring in Cable at some point. Um, and so I, I might go, like, branch on to, like, something I said in a video a while back. Um... If they bring in Cable and say, like, uh, he needs the help, needs the Avengers' help, because I don't, I don't know if you remember, but in Ultimate Alliance, uh, Cable was there, too. So the Cable does know the Avengers, um, at least if I'm going off that. Yeah. Um, it's possible that maybe Cable needs them in the future of his future, where the Avengers weren't there and the X-Men failed, right? So it's not like it, it would be impossible, but it'd be kind of weird how to, how would you go about stopping a threat like that? That'd be a good way but, to introduce the X Men, but at that point, yeah. wouldn't it just turn into an X Men game? Yeah, like, you're I'd right. Be completely okay if they made like a straight up X Men game, like they're doing Avengers. Hmm. I mean, shoot, it's got like a lot of people. They've got like a lot of characters, so it's not like it can't happen. Um, I mean, it could, it would be a good way to. How would I put it though? I mean, would you do you think they would actually go for a X Men game like Mar- uh, Marvel Avengers though? I mean. At least, if at least this early. If Avengers does well enough, they might do it somewhere down the line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Depending on how many X Men they bring into the game, if uh, any at all. Yeah. Yeah, I can certainly see that. I'm hoping um, during the not during this current story, but maybe like so certain missions where um, maybe they need to go into a special location, such as Asgard, right? Yeah, I would love to play as Thor in Asgard. I would. But at the same time, it's like, let's say Thor's story mode has him. We can't play as Thor, but we're able to see what Thor is doing like as a, like a side character. And then so your team um, goes in to help Thor with said mission. And so I'm hoping that they do something like that in order to promote... Um, playing your other characters like i don't like don't get me wrong don't get me wrong i love maining the character i see completely why you would want to main a character but i hope they do that because i know people are going to just stay on one character at all times and like yeah i get what you're saying yeah like uh dudes off in the background as a npc just completely handling his business and you're there to just assist him yeah like I feel like if they do something like that, there it'll allow them to do like um, some things that the game itself can't do, such as like, you know, just some weird like quick time event that wouldn't be possible if we were the ones doing it. Um, like, uh, let's say it's an Iron Man storyline, and you just happen to be on Cap. Dude comes yeah. in and hits you with the Unibeam, and you can reflect that as Cap as a tra- as a quick time event. Yeah, that sounds that sounds really good. Like. Or Thor hits you with some lightning and you just happen to be on Iron Man and he overcharges you to a ridiculous extent. Yeah! It'd be like his uh, arc conductor move, but like, just ten times better. Uh-huh. Like, I'd love that. I'm hoping though, I feel like, you know, honestly though, I feel like they're probably doing that um, 
for the story anyway like in some degree like because it's like people are going to want to do these moves and i i don't remember ever trying to do something like that with any of the characters in the uh, beta but i feel well, like that's something to fair, none of the characters in the beta like had nothing they did actually paired well with anybody yeah other than black widow becoming invisible and making the entire team invisible and i'm giving you increased cooldowns yeah you're right you're right um but yeah pretty much okay well we talked about the story so the next thing i want to talk about is what characters are you looking forward to mcu comics whatever it doesn't matter what characters are you looking forward to playing at the Adam. Is my number one hope that they add to this game. Because, mm-hmm. like, if they add Doctor Strange, that's going to open up a whole new, like, side of the game. Like, you get the Sorcerer Supreme storyline, and you can go in and eventually mess with Doctor Doom, because Strange has to deal with Doom, and then Doom directly leads to, like, snippets of Fantastic Four. Right. I would love something like that. I do hope, um, so uh, I'm going to reference an other video again. Um, I do hope that if they do something like that, maybe do like, a, so we'll have a storyline where we focus on maybe a part of a, a cosmic space related mission. And then like that proceeds on to an even bigger storyline. But like, we don't follow that because we got to go help Amy Dr. Strange with his magic storyline and then maybe we'll deal with a multiverse or time travel storyline and so like we'll still be going through all of these missions right but like these stories they'll continue some time later because the villain has to build whatever machine magical item or whatever for it to happen so that we will know where they are located again and sure it'll feel kind of time gated but it'll also add to the suspense the feeling of and the tension of Hey, where's where's the uh, enemy at? And it'll certainly make you feel like a true Avenger because you're you're constantly worried about what's gonna happen next, and you're constantly one ready to just take action. Um, that being said, and following that when you're ready, um, I feel like if you time gate too much or too long, right, it's gonna cause. Well, it may cause a destiny effect. I feel like a lot of the players like they'll be waiting on something for uh, so long, and then like. Um, yeah, yeah, I know I'm referencing something like that, but I feel like the it'll, it'll have a destiny effect where it's like their players are waiting on something for so long, and so when it finally comes out, like they're they're kind of bored of it. Like um, I feel like a lot of the anthem players are, are in the same boat. Like it's just going to be, it takes so long for something to come out that when it finally does, it may not be as good as they were hoping for as long as the wait was. But um. How about you? Well, like, I'd be okay with the time-gated events to a certain extent as long as they don't oversaturate them. Yeah. Like, if you're going to do time-gated events, don't make it, like, once a month because at that point, I'm just like, whatever. This is going to be back next month. I don't have to do it. Yeah, I got you. So, certainly wants to give you that, um, that draw, that desire to come back, come to it. Um, like, and as far as like other characters, if they branch off and do like introduce the guardians, they can do that to be Thor because he's technically an uh, alien from space. Yeah, and he's helped them out along with Iron Man, and that can lead into Rune King Thor, where in the comics he just absolutely smacks the crap out of Galactus. Isn't he like a hero right now? A herald of no Thor? one. I think he's a herald of no one right now. I have no idea. Ah oh, man, I just know Rune King Thor is something you do not want to mess with. <laughs> yeah, like he's stronger than Odin. I got you. I got you. Shoot, I gotta check that out. It's been a while since I read any comics recently. I've been really focused on manga for the most uh, most part. But yeah, I'm gonna certainly try to go oh, back okay. to you. I'm gonna certainly go back to it. Um. My favorite character, not favorite character, the character I want to see the most, strictly, um, I mean, I said this to you before a little bit, but Rocket. Rocket and Groot, bro. Like, well, that, that, if they do uh, the Avengers, uh, or the uh, Guardians thing, you'd be able to see Rocket. 
Hmm. Yeah, but you, you, you kind of cut out a little bit. Them filling up that roster way too fast. Yeah. Um, well, the um... thing about Rocket, though, uh, not Rocket. Well, the thing about Rocket and Groot, right? Is so. Here's some something I said before was, I can understand having Rocket without Groot, but I can't see Groot without Rocket. Strictly because no matter what happens, you're still it's still a team, right? And so the team has to communicate. And it's like, if Rocket's not there, who is Groot going to talk to? Like, no one really knows what he's saying. Thor. So Thor. All right. So Thor knows him now, right? Um, yeah. Thor. Does is that speak, confirmed? Uh... Is that okay? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. Well, okay. Because in the comics and also in uh, Infinity War, mm-hmm. where he meets the Guardians, he's like, oh, blah, 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 I speak whatever the hell they said Groot's language was. They taught it on Asgard as an elective. Okay, okay. That's good to hear. Um, but still, like, and I'll put it like this. Um, the way I saw like, maybe Rocket's design would be is so... Um, kind of like Iron Man, we have the Hulkbuster. And during this time, right, Groot, uh, Groot goes big. Um, I don't know if you saw anything from the Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, but one of the things I remember seeing for Groot was that they would throw down a um, time bubble or something where it would speed up his um, his growth. And when he sped up to his growth, he'd be like adult Groot, and he'd be in his big form. Um, versus when he was done with his big form, he could go back into a small form being small group. And so what I was thinking was like, for his ultimate, um, and I got like two ultimate ideas for this, for his ultimate, right, we could have a Iron Man-esque group and have like for his ranged attacks, we could have like um, Rocket still there, kind of like a Ratchet and Clank theme where like Clank's in his big form and like, Ratchet's on his back. But like Rocket would be still able to shoot his guns. But then let's say when Rocket's in his um when Rocket's like running around and Groot's on his back, Groot could be like Rocket's melee ability. And Rocket could still shoot his guns. Um and so that was something I thought would be a really good idea for the first way an ultimate can go. But the second way of ultimate could go um, for Rocket and Groot is... So you remember RDO from Smite? Yep. So, and for everyone that doesn't know what Smite is, it's like a MOBA in third person. You're kind of looking at the back of the uh, the god. Um, if you know what a MOBA is, then you know what that is. Um, look the term up. But um, RDO, the way she was set up, right? She would have the ability... So she'd have three skills that she could use on her human form and she had three skills she could use on her bear form her ultimate would allow her to switch over to um, her bear to her human form like whatever side you wanted to the other and so i would love to see something like rocket while you're in rocket form you can just do um do whatever rocket's gonna do you still with your melee attacks and then you could switch over using your ultimate and B play as Go- as Groot, you can still shoot with Rocket. It's just not going to be as strong as if you were running around as Rocket with guns. Um, and so I was thinking maybe something like that. Well, on the uh, on the counterpoint to that, you could just have them be one unit and Rocket and Groot be together. Like he's just rolling around on the back of Groot, like you said he is. And your basic attacks, like me- melee mm-hmm. range, is Groot just swinging, and for your ranged attacks is rocket shooting and you can specialize to do either or yeah via the skill tree. yeah oh yeah I'd, I'd love to see something like that and you're and for the ultimate you could be like hey i'm gonna hop off group's gonna go do his thing and i'm gonna go do my thing on rocket yeah because the ai in that game are not dumb they're not <laughs> oh man they're not <laughs> like i was playing by myself <laughs> i've seen hulk smack somebody in the mouth with a big ass boulder <laughs> I'm like, oh no, you didn't. Bro, us. when bro, when you get saved by an AI, like you're not expecting it ever, especially when you play other games. You're not expecting an AI to come out of nowhere and just try to save you from something about to hit you. And then when you see like maybe Kamala, Blackwood, or Hulk just come out and like smack somebody across the room, you're like, whoa, what just happened? Like, <laughs> who was that? You're thinking you're playing like, with players. They don't do the traditional. I'm just gonna run at you and try to pick you up thing. They'll kill whatever they were fighting and then come pick. Mm-hmm. Like they certainly. Did. Crystal Dynamics did a really good job on 
like AI in the game, and they did a really good job on the enemy AI, dude. Oh my god, bro! When let me tell you, getting ping ponged by some adaptoids, bro. Like, oh my god, <laughs> uh, those things are the worst. Oh my god. Like, what do you mean you have my abilities except you hit harder than me? That's not fair. <laughs> dude, the adapt toys, dude. Man. I, just, I remember having, like, the roughest time. And, like, I would be somewhat... Unless I was playing Hulk, I would be, like, somewhat afraid to just run up on them. Like, I'd have to, like, whittle them down before I even decided to go over there, like, on any character. Hulk, though, I mean, Hulk Rampage dude, would be... Sniped out of the air by three adapters. Oh. They all hit me with Unibeam at once. I'm like, oh, that's not cool. <laughs> but it gets rough. It gets real rough. But I feel, I love how like um, anime AI, AI though. Even on the easiest difficulty, there's some some semblance of, hey, my AI do know what they're doing. So it's just like to see like the anime know. AI just do so well. Sorry, someone decided to walk by. Um, to see the AI on both the ally AI and the enemy AI just that good. I, I love it. Um, it's, it's it's definitely a nice refresher because I'm used to playing games where like, oh, cool, I have an AI, so he's basically a meat right. choice. He's not going to do anything but soak damage yeah. and barely do that. Yeah. So I think they did a really good job on that. Um, we talked about the character wish list. Was there anything... Um, I'll get more onto it too. Um, was there anything that you wished for the game systems? So, uh, while we were talking about earlier, the movement system for like normal characters, was there anything in particular that you would love to have seen as a feature for that system? For the non flyers, like this excludes the Hulk, obviously, because mm -hmm. the man hauls cheeks. The non-flyers definitely need something because mm -hmm. they 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 cannot keep up with a Hulk or Thor or Iron Man. Yeah, I, I remember in some um, especially the non-superpower. Yes, players. yes. I remember in some iterations of the Avengers they would have like hover bikes, and some of them I think Black Widow has a motorcycle. Um, she has a hover car and or a hover bike, just like Hawkeye. yeah. Like it's surprising they didn't put that in the game, like. It's probably there, or it's at least some form of it. I'm thinking maybe, um, although I feel like Captain America is just going to hook it like real hard wherever he's going. Um, Dude, if Cap starts booking it and keeps up with the Hulk, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> you know, you do it. Oh, I'm going to point it and turn around and be like, haha, Natasha, you can't keep I up. I know, bro. Um, actually, I think Cap can double jump. I saw a video today, actually. Um, Cap can double jump, dude. It it looks weird. I didn't really, I didn't even notice it at first, but it was like, why did he do that front flip? Because he just jumped, and like Natasha just jumps. But to see that front flip, I was like, oh, he double jumped. And he got like a little extra, like a little higher too. Um, I learned that and what Captain Wall run. What would be cool, like for Natasha specifically, is like, hey, let me just hop on the back of the Hulk, and he can piggyback me to where we need to mm -hmm. go. I was thinking of um, that would be pretty cool. What I was thinking was um. So, you know how her zipline works? Let me zipline to yeah. my ally. If you want to do something like that, let me zipline to my ally. Because Tony can still fly regardless of if I'm ziplining to whatever's grabbing onto him. Hulk can still jump regardless of what's grabbing onto him. And Hulk, if Hulk knows it's Natasha or somebody, he's not going to care. So, l let me do something like that. Or maybe let Hulk pick me up and dr take me somewhere. Like any, like anyone like that. Let let that happen because it'll add to the teamwork um, immersion, and it'll certainly make the non flyers feel better. I do love the idea that when the, the AI gets too far away, they teleport. The thing that sucks about that is when you're not an AI, you don't teleport. <laughs> like it's just some hot garbage. No, like <laughs> it is a definite struggle for the non-flyers to get anywhere on the big maps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like that was a definite drawback to them. Yes, they 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 feel fantastic combat-wise, but getting from point A to point B requires tremendous effort. Yeah. So, 
especially if it's like let's say you got point A and then you get to point B, but point C is like vertical. Yeah. Oh man. Like that one gamma map. Oh man. Where you're just constantly going up and down. I'm just like, I mean, I'm an Iron Man. I don't really have a problem doing this. You want me to get the stuff up top so you can just keep jumping? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Um, I heard there was raids coming out in the game. I don't know if it's going to be more than four players, though. I'm hoping at least six. Six seems like a good number. But I heard there's going to be raids in the game. So, and certainly, I'm ready to see it. I, don't, I honestly don't think the game would be able to handle six players, because four of them were ridiculous. Yeah. Man. We'll, we'll certainly see, though. Man, you're going to get them people that are butthurt. I'm like, I don't want to be Kamala. I'm like, well, that's the only one left. And she can heal. I mean, like, they got no other healers right now, bro. I mean, the finishers, right, they heal. And then, like, you get the health if you kill them. So, certainly there's that. But, like, there's no real healer. I mean, to be fair, some characters don't really need Yeah. Them. You're right, you're right. Because not all of them are brawlers like the Hulk. Where you just go in and smash people in the face. And, oh, I'm losing health. Let me click a button and start using my anger to regen health. Yeah. So... It is what it is, but I I feel like they're I feel like or, they're gonna expect more onto like I feel like it's gonna be more than one healer because Kamala as much as I'm sure they want to promote her, um, not everyone's gonna play her. Especially like it's like the Wonder Twins, bro. Like, do you know who the Wonder Twins are? The only reason I know who they are is because I remember watching that old show. But like uh, Kamala Khan, like literally this is the first time where i really knew who she was like i think the only other time i ever saw her was in lego marvel superheroes and i had to actually think about going to play that game so i'm not gonna lie to you Kev. the first time i've seen kamala khan or miss marvel is in this phone game i played <laughs> marvel strike force i got you I'm like who the hell is miss marvel oh you're not captain marvel got it why do you wear the same outfit <laughs> I'm upset. Mm, I think she's a super fan, actually. But I feel like... Fan girl. Uh, so I had this theory that when they made uh, Miss Marvel, they were like, at the time, like, I don't think Disney had the ability to use uh, Mr. Fantastic. And so I think they were like, all right, we need an elastic hero. Why don't we make a new one called Miss Marvel? And so I think that's the only reason she's there. Because otherwise, like, Mr. Fantastic would have been, like, the GOAT. Like, who else do you have? <laughs> like, who else do you have? Um, Johnny Storm and then... I mean, let's be real here. The Thing is pretty... Like, you got Hulk, so the Thing's thing is not really something you haven't seen before. Um, Invisible Woman, uh, Force Fields, and Invisibility. Well, Invisibility is covered by... Uh, uh, not Scarlet Witch, Black Widow. And Force Field can be covered by Tony... If you wanted to make an item like that, um, and so then you got Human Torch, and Human Torch, he's got like what flame beams, and um, uh, let's be honest, Torch is just a, a, a damn need. <laughs> if he wanted, to, if he, wanted he to. can let the entire area on fire. He could, he could. Like, I, I certainly remember um, back when they showed. Do uh, you remember the old Fantastic Four movies where? Um, it was like he did the supernova on uh, Doctor Doom. Yeah. Like, bro, I would love to see the supernova though. As a, just a special move, bro. Oh man, you talking about the DPS, the raw damage, bro? Destructive finish, right? map clear. <laughs> <laughs> it would be pretty great, dude. But like, oh great, he killed the entire map. Got it. All right. Um. Uh, next to last thing and then we'll have like um well the last thing and then like like maybe final remarks um who are you going to main Oof. easy question boys easy question thor odinson okay 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 me here's go ahead, why go ahead, go ahead. I, I can fight with or without the hammer. So if I want to pin you to the wall and then go beat your friend's butt, I can do so. All right, all right. Like I remember, I, I saw some gameplay besides the eight day thing. Like eight, like certainly Thor felt great. Like he felt really amazing. Um, but 
I certainly love the idea of being able to pin my enemy. I love the, I love how they did the lightning. I love that you could do the. Um, actually, I think that's not even a part of what I'm thinking about. But I remember seeing like he can do like a, go into the bifrost and then come down out of the air and just like slam down wherever he wants to be at. Kind of like a. Like the thing that sold me on him was, oh, cool, super dangerous dude. Let me pin him to whatever surface and deal with everybody else. Right. Then deal with it. Right. Like they they did a really good job on him. Like, um, one of them, my main, most likely, though, will be, I wanted to say Cap, but it's probably going to be Black Widow. It was something about just the fluidity, uh, fluidity of her combat system. Like, going from, like, your melee combo, your, your guns, into maybe you want to, like, zip line to another person. It just felt amazing. And so, for me... It's probably going to be Black Widow. Um, I don't think there's anything really other than special than that. And like, like I said, that's my gripes. But I do remember that being a very, very big thing for me. Um, and so the next question is, will you be doing co-op day one? Probably not. Yeah. And just because of our particular group of I friends, know. I'm probably not going to be able to play the character I want to play on day I one. I know, man. Like, and I was like, for the first day, I was like, eh, I'm probably going to just run Black Widow, build my team up while I'm at it, because at the end of the day, whenever the others hop on, it's just going to be like, either I'm going to carry or I'm going to get carried. But I'm going to have a good far focus on myself. Because let's be honest, our particular group of friends are going to be like, alright, let's rush through the game as fast as possible. And I'm going to be like, I kind of want to take my time and enjoy I want to take my time and I want to I want to do every side quest. I want to see what I'm looking forward to. Um, mm -hmm. See what the year is like. like I'm, I'm only going to progress in story when I knock out side quests. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I have no more side quests and I'm forced to do story, done. Yeah. Um... Oh, um, by the way, I saw something recently. So apparently the mission names are mist, uh, named after the comics. Like, uh, Makes yeah. Because that Gamma, that Gamma mm -hmm. one, that was, that was a whole comic. Yeah, like I was like, when I saw it, I was like, that's a thing? I was like, it makes sense. Like, it's really, I really get it. I'm hoping, um, besides just the name, though, it's like the theme of the comic plays out into the mission in some way. Like, I'd love to see it. I hope that's how it is. Whoa, whoa. Judging from um, that one Hulk mission where everything was basically gamma radiated, yeah. they could do that very easily by leaning towards like, hey man, the cubes where all the gamma radiated people and basically all of Hulk's villains are housed, they got out, go put them back. Yeah. Um, one of the things though I do hope this game does, it promotes going to read the comics. Um, it's like... You know what would be great? You know how you pick up the comics mm -hmm. in the game? You can read that particular issue. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Um, I would love to see something like when you do a mission too. Like maybe they build, do like a, this mission was referenced off of a such and such comic. And like you would see like maybe a page or something where you'd get a, a brief summary of that comic. Right. I would love to see something like that. Um, like the load screen. Yeah. This com this comic is blah da 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 da. I love I would love to see something like that because I mean I feel like a lot of people just don't know what's going on in the comics. Like you really got the MCU. It's like and everyone really just became a Mar uh, MCU fan. They may not be a Marvel fan, but they might be an MCU fan. So I would certainly love to see yeah, that. There, those uh, particular movie individuals out there <laughs> lacking in knowledge when it comes to comics. <laughs> I'd highly recommend reading a couple. Um, before I get truly on the final remarks, um, I hope they. Uh, on it, I honestly hope they focus on their hardcore group, though. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I feel like um, the difficulties were uh, set up so that like anyone that casually plays will be able to play. Um, like, it's like they'll be able to go in and get their gear. It's not like the difficulty makes it uh, too much of a gap. Like, you'll still be able to get to the max power cap regardless. But, like, 
the harder difficulties will certainly be help the hardcore players. And I would love to see. Um, I'm, I hope they focus more on the hardcore stuff for the hardcore players. I really do. Um, I hope they stay true to the that comics too. Be nice. like, like I said, like you, like we said, there's like a lot of limitless potential. You, but you put it on the hardest difficulty, you get a hard, you get an easier chance of potentially gaining legendary. Right. That are actually worth something instead of hey, this is two points higher when I roll it max. So um, speaking of legendaries, though, um, so I hope, and they're probably going to end up doing this eventually, like in the actual game. Um, I want to see legendaries where they have specific perks on them. Um, I know I got one thing for Black Widow. It says Shadow Ops, but it was like on an epic. It was like you get bonus damage from Shadow Ops, and I was like, well, let me let me get a Shadow Ops legendary gear. And then spec I off did that. actually have a legendary on Iron Man where it boosted my arc reactor, my my mm-hmm. uranium damage. Nice, nice. And just damage from lasers in general. Nice. So I'm like, oh, that's actually pretty dope. Yeah, like. So I actually did start using that particular ability more. Yeah, like I can certainly feel like I feel I certainly feel like they're focused on build. I think like um, strictly going off of what you just said and what I've said, um, there's a focus where it's like all right do you want to focus on your neutral do you want to focus on your abilities do you want to focus on your ultimate and i certainly feel like they're doing a really good job on that um and i feel i certainly feel like the skill builders are there they're gonna be be people slacking on that neutral game i'm like you can't slack on the Mm -hmm. neutral it's how you get smacked man i'm just gonna go for damage cool you got one shot bro and so also also let's go back a little bit so remember when we were talking about the ai um so ev- uh, perfect evasion evasion in parry right that game promotes parrying like like even as hulk you can't just face tank anything like you don't realize the damage that you're stacking on yourself until like halfway in you're wondering how you just died so fast like that game promotes parrying. I, I love that 100%. Because I when I play, first played Hulk, I was like, bro, am I literally just going to be able to pop rage and just go to town? Like, and to see that, and still oh, to yeah. see a need to like dodge, like, I, even as Hulk, like this big, bulky dude, to even think that I need to still dodge. I love that, dude. 100%. Because if and when you decide to go in as Iron Man in melee combat, mm-hmm. You're gonna definitely want to dodge and or parry just because you can immediately go into a different move from doing those moves. Mm-hmm. Shoot it. Which is fantastic to see. Yeah. Shoot, they force them back too. Like, Iron Man's like a giant force fill, I think. And like, it forces everything back. I think it does a little damage. Kind of like spills up some stun meter. But mm-hmm. I certainly love that. Because I know if you were, I know if you parried on and you were on the rocket munitions. Mm-hmm. You immediately launch into the air and shoot their feet, knocking them up and back. Like while you're gaining distance yourself. Yeah, like they did a really good job on that. Um, certainly, I love the idea. Like, it's there's more depth to the combat. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of the um, combo videos where people were doing like whole like you know fighting in Dragon Ball Fighter Z, um, Tekken, whatever combos bro on just like regular mobs i'm like it, it, it don't take a lot bro but i i get it like I, I i like the idea that i can do that the idea that i can use all my abilities to just go in on one singular dude like they did a really good job on that oh yeah i, f- I found myself swapping between multiple different abilities and munition types quite frequently depending on what mob or mm-hmm. particular entity i was fighting mm-hmm, like I feel like Iron Man has like this Overwatch feel, like not Overwatch as the game, but like the Overwatch like idea um, feel to it. Yeah, I got and it's like I, I feel like he just works really. He's also got the hit and run style. He's got the um, the pretty much he's like an air bomber. Like I, he feels it's great. My personal play style for him is I'm gonna take out everything flying and stationary turrets. That way my ground dudes can focus on not getting shot in mm-hmm. the face. And then I'll help them out when all of my targets are gone. Yeah. So, I, th- I think we're good on that. Um, any finals? Anything you wanted to say? Any- anything particular? Uh, I'm just looking forward to the game. Right, man. right. It's going to be good. Yeah. All right. Um, so, 
Oh, we'll, we'll start with the finals. So, if you want to see more of us, remember to follow this podcast. And uh, we I stream on Twitch at Seven Ninja Seven. You can find me there. Um, I don't really use Twitter. I do have a Discord. Um, I may end up posting that in the description, and I do have a YouTube. But if you want to see anything just strictly for me, check me out there. Uh, anything in particular special you want to say, Bruce, for that? Not particularly. I don't really stream, to be honest. I just kind of hang out with my streamer friends. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks again. Um, but yeah, you'll see us again on the <laughs> Avengers, the break room. All right. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Bye.